Alright, so welcome to our lesson on the general transportation problem. So for this video, to make sense, you have to watch first our video lesson on transportation problem. If you haven't done that, please go to the link at the description given below. Let us recall the um, the methods that we, the steps that we need to go through to solve a transportation problem. We have your northwest corner rule. And then your stepping stone method. So let us recall that the stepping stone method, we, we calculate the improvement index. And we have to step on occupied cells, right? Now, if this happens, if this condition happens, this means that we have no enough stones to step on. Meaning to say, we cannot compute the improvement we cannot compute the improvement index of certain cells improvement index so let me show you an example so for example this table over here what is the number of rows we have three rows plus four columns minus one so that's six right however the number of occupied cells number of occupied cells is only equal to 5. So hence, this is a degenerate example. Alright? So how do we handle degenerate transportation problems? In order to do that, you just have to artificially create an occupied cell by placing a zero. It represents a fake shipment in one of the unused cells. Alright, so let us now solve this transportation problem, this degenerate um, transportation problem. Now, let's compute the improvement index at AC3. Now, for this one, there's no problem because we can go this way. Right? So, plus, minus, plus, minus. So, AC3 here is... 8 minus 6, that's 2, plus 8 is 10 minus 6, so that is 4, alright? Let's compute the improvement index at AC4. Let me just erase this so that you will not be confused. Now, if you will look at AC4, remember that we can only change um, we can only change directions at occupied cells. So, for example, here, here, here then I cannot go anywhere. I, here, if I go here, but there's this is not occupied, right? So there's no way I can go back to C4. So this is an example wherein um, you cannot compute the improvement index because we have no enough stepping stone. So in order for, for me to do that, this is what we are going to do. We will now introduce a fake shipment here, all right, so that we can go. Alright, so what we can do now to improve the improvement index is this one, here, here, and then there. Okay, so what are the signs there? Positive 8, minus 6, so that's 2, plus 8 is 10, minus 7, so that's 3. Right, so therefore we were now able to compute the improvement index at AC4 because of the fake shipment at BC4. Alright? Now, let's continue. Um, let me just erase this again. Let us compute the improvement index where? At BC1. So, at BC1, there's no problem. There are enough stones. So, plus, minus, plus, minus. Right? So, we can go this way. This, 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 and then go back. So, what is now the improvement index there? So, 6 minus 4 is 2, plus 6, 8 minus 8. So, that's 0. Right? What else? And then at um, 
take note that BC4 is already considered as, as occupied, so you will no longer get the improvement index there. Let's get the improvement index at CC1. CC1. Again, let me just erase this. So at CC1, what's the best way to do this? I can go here. I can go this way, that, 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 and then go back, right? So let me just trace that path. So go here, go here, go here, go here, go here, and then there. So, the turning points are, this is plus 5, minus 4, plus 6, minus 8, and then plus 7, minus 8, right? So, what's our improvement index? 5 minus 4 is 1, plus 6, 7, minus 8, negative 1, plus 7, 6, minus 8, there you go, that's negative 2, Negative 2. So that means this is not yet optimal. But anyway, let me just continue for CC2. Let me just erase again everything here. Oops. Don't forget that we had our fake shipment here at 0. And then next for CC1, CC2. So for CC2... This is CC2, so what is our strategy? This one, correct? So go from here, there. So 7 minus 8, negative 1 plus 7, where am I? Negative 1 plus 7 is 6 minus 8, negative 2. And then lastly at CC3, again I'm just erasing, oops, got erased, we have a zero here. At CC3, I will go this way, plus, minus, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I should start at the occupied cell, so that's 6 minus 6 plus 7 minus 8. So that's our closed path. So what is that? That is negative 1. So that means that this is not yet optimal because we have um, negative improvement indices here. Alright, so at least now you can, you can now proceed with the steps in solving this one. But the point is, uh, what I want to do here is to show you that um, having this fake shipment at BC4 will enable us to um, to improve the improvement in this. Okay, so I will no longer, I will already stop here and then you can try answering this problem. Okay.